Freedom is a choice, and yet so many people decide not to be free. I'm a free man, and I can think freely. I think we're crazy. Call us freaks. But honestly, I think we're. Joe. I just don't get it. I see parents crying as they walk into the layout room. Expressions on their faces tell us of tragedy and doom. As a son, I think of my own folks and I start to cry. Why do we gotta go through these things, please, oh God, why? I know I got no right to question your will, oh Lord. But sometimes I just wanna put my pen down and pick up the sword. Sometimes I feel that laws ain't enough to avenge the fallen. What's Jen and a man gonna do for the family of that poor woman? What's 25 to life gonna do for those motherless children? I hope that man would just rot in hell for the pain that he's caused them. But who am I to judge based on my human emotions? Some say we're only human and that some of us are still evolving. We pretend to the rest of the world that all seems okay when, in fact, we brush aside issues affecting our own nation. I wish these higher ups would come to their senses. Don't they see our mothers die while we see life through different lenses? I wish they could feel what it's like to go to a hospital and get told there are no beds. So you gotta sleep on the floor along with everybody else and get waking up at night with a stench of death and get told to go home because they don't have any more meds. It's reality. But not for those who have the power. It's our tragedy. The rich get richer by the hour. That's disparity. When the fine line between rich and poor is a metal fence that separates the settlements from a 15 floor complex. I'm often told I shouldn't complain because I got two arms and two legs and a God-given brain and how I should get off my ass and look for a job so I can get paid and then struggle to feed my family while being on a minimum wage. It's ridiculous. 50 bucks could buy you so many things when I was a kid. Not 50 bucks is only loose change to these little kids. I wish I could go back to them days, but it is what it is. Life is rough, we gotta hold on tight, so best get a grip. We all on this ride together, whether you're poor or you're rich. Cause at the end of the day, life is short and today is a gift. And ultimately it's how you treat others while we coexist. And depending on how you treat her, life can be a snitch. I wish that more men could focus more on their family and kids. Education starts at home, not in a classroom with desks. When we abandon our offspring and darkness teaches them how to fly, don't be surprised when they come back and try to burn up the nest. Bringing life into this world is truly a blessing. You may not plan for it, but God did, even before creation. Teach them to pray when they're still young and you won't regret it. So when you're gone, they'll still know who to turn to when life be stressing. I wish that tribes would all respect each other despite the tension. And not to treat the loss of life like nothing more than compensation. The real enemy can't be seen and is full of deception. And pulling strings behind the curtains just to keep us guessing. I wish we'd realize the power that we all have inside us. And use it against the enemy instead of letting hate divide us. I love my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He lives inside me. And I will worship him forever. And I can't deny this. I wish that we could all just get along now instead of fighting. Unforgiveness is a virus and it beckons violence. It's like there's only public outcry after someone dies. But when they're still alive and suffering, there is deafening silence. I wish more people would just understand what I'm trying to say. I hope this world can be so much more for our kids one day. And it hurts knowing there's so many who won't be saved. Dear Lord, teach us to be more human in the most Christ-like way.